DG, it's been 20 years in the making and here we are on the set of Wynnum Riba. I'm nostalgic and excited all in one go. What do you say? I was part of the initial, initial project as well. So, and as you are saying, it's seriously almost like a trip down memory lane. And I remember at a time when we had to choose the presenters, I, I was speaking to your father then. I think Mia just came out of the pageant. Yeah. And I said yeah. to him, there's the beauty. Yeah. You must just find the beast. Yeah. And we agreed on never. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the ironic thing is the beauty stayed exactly the same. In, uh, in Neville, you know, um, he's matured into his own personality and to bring back that entire followership on, onto the show and, and, and what those two have achieved over the two years, I think we couldn't ask for a better pair and a better face for Namibia. If you're going to be looking at what the presenters are today, very mature, they've gone through things. So handling the shows today, with all the experiences that they have gone through, I think that in itself will also create quite a lot of fun. I was, I was part of the um, original one and behind the scenes and had a look at the set. I mean, lots of the shows we shot in open air and yes. UN7 on site. And what we have here is a world-class stage and setup. I'm, 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 I'm pleasantly surprised with what the team has put here together. Yes, no, it, it can't be better than what you have because remember now with the evolution of technology, Things have moved in such a direction that you can literally create anything that you would want to. And then yesterday I got a glimpse through photos that I've sent and it was so majestic. That is why you see the set, it's huge, it's live. I can just imagine in terms of what is happening here. And so for us, yes, we are here. And the beautiful thing is that the NBC a couple of months back also transitioned into high definition. So in terms of the offering that will be on the screens, people will really experience true quality of greatness in terms of what this stage is offering. And you, you're touching on an important point. I remember when, when the team sat together, when we talked about this partnership and the smart partnership that, we, that the two your entities will form together, the, the overriding question or challenge that we have is creating local content. And I believe this is, this is the first of, of local content creation between the two entities. Um, and, and I see many more. Local content, there's always that need and I've always said that if people see themselves on the screen or knowing that they will be appearing, once they get home they will tell the neighbour, you must watch NBC this time, you will see me there. And linked to that as well, our programming currently on NBC is extremely serious in terms of offering. So Winner Mariba is going to bring in that element that will make people laugh, that will make people cry, but at the same time also just experience what it is to be a true, ordinary Namibian. And that's what I am looking forward to. And, and you know, there's a, there's a whole different element in here. So we've got set, we've got the show, but I understand the teams are working together to do something on social media, to bring the rest of the nation. Obviously we can you know, only accommodate a certain amount of contestants on the stage. But um, I think the social media content um, and element that brings with it, you know, where you have the entire nation taking part and doing videos and their own stunts and games at home will bring a completely different dynamic. Yeah, I saw that and I've been following the teasers that we're running in terms of announcing those that have made it to be able to come and actually be part of the recording. And I was saying to myself, by the time the first productions go on air, we will be finding interest from all corners of the country as well. So from a production and a management aspect of this, ah, It'll be your a tough work one. will be cut out for, for you. For sure. These, these type of shows never stop. And you know when we stopped the first edition, people were still after years asking us, when is this coming back? So for us, there's no turning back now. The only thing that we will do as, a, as, 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 as partners, NBC and the Trosco Group, would be for us rather to say, we have Winamariba now. Is there any other production that we can look at that can give the same, but with a total different feel to that? And as you know, me and you are the ones normally yeah. that have these discussions before we bring them to the rest of the, the teams. We should already be start thinking is what else is there that we can do together. I'm, I'm quite excited to, to, to see what we do next. No, the creative juices are flowing. They are really flowing quite heavily. So. I'm looking forward to a great show and also the nice thing is that this is also happening against the backdrop where our own brave warriors are also partaking in a tournament and you know you know the outcome could not and the timing could not be better yeah I just told them that it's a pity that I was busy <laughs> otherwise I would have been on the field myself. <laughs>
But I, I, I couldn't leave NBC for that, yeah. yeah but the teams course. are doing well. And I think our two entities, you, I've also seen that from an informante perspective, that you guys have also been pushing that element of the business, which is good. Yeah. So that synergy in terms of NBC and your business linked to the media element of it has been working very, very well. So we can actually create magic on an unending fashion, if one may have to say that. I'm game. I'm game. <laughs>